When you see your wife in Jannah for the first time, it is said you will be lost in awe for 40 years. So you're going to go, what? <laughs> for 40 years. Then when you look away and look at her again, she's going to be more beautiful than when you first looked at her. Today, the most beautiful girl in this world, you look at her for four minutes, you say, bro, is her line, is her nose out of line? <laughs> yeah? Over there, it only gets better. Over there, she only gets better. And your wife, so your wife of dunya, if she's there with you, you know, people ask me, bro, is my wife going to be there in Jannah? I'm thinking, cuz really, do you really want her there, bro? Isn't it enough? You had her here, you want her there as well? But if she's there with you, the Prophet of Allah tells us that your wife's beauty compared to the beauty of Hur al Ain is like the light of a candle compared to the light of the sun. Uncomparable. All this Allah has prepared for you. Houses. Not houses. The Prophet of Allah, he tells us your tent. Do you, do you guys have tents? Do you know what a tent is? Yeah? Khayma. Your, your, your tent, you know, when you go camping. The Prophet of Allah tells us your tent in Jannah. Not your house. Your tent in Jannah will be carved out of one single pearl. The height of which is 60 miles high. And 60 miles wide. This is your tent. Your palaces in Jannah, their bricks will be made of gold and silver. The mortar that brings the bricks together will be made of musk. All this is for you in Jannah. All this is for those who are holding on, for those who are patient for that little bit in this world. All this Allah has prepared as a reward for you. But you know what's the most amazing thing in paradise? Is in Jannah, Allah will collect us all together, inshaAllah, in Jannah. And Allah will speak to us. Imagine. Authentic hadith. I want you to really, honestly, my brothers, I really want you to imagine this. All jokes aside now. In Jannah, Allah Azza wa Jal, He will gather us all and He will speak to us. And Allah will say to you, my brother and my sister, is there anything more that you want? Is there anything I can do for you? Imagine Allah speaking to you like this. Imagine Allah says to you, is there anything more that I can do for you? So we will say, oh Allah, you saved us from hellfire. You entered us into the paradise. You have allowed us to live forever and ever in your Jannah. You have given us all of these luxuries. Oh Allah, what more could we possibly ask for? So Allah will say, so are you content? We will say, oh Allah, we are so content. There is nothing more we can possibly ask for. Allah will say, then if that is the case, as of this day forward, I promise you, that from this day forward, I will never, ever be displeased with you ever again. Imagine this, my brothers. Imagine this, Allah Azza wa will never be displeased with you ever again. You think that's enough? Wallahi, it's not. Prophet of Allah, he tells us in the authentic hadith. 
He says, Allah Azza wa Jal will gather us once more. And he will say, O oh my servants, are you happy? Are you pleased? Are you content? And we will say, O oh Allah, what more could we possibly ask for? O oh Allah, you've given us everything that we've desired. O oh Allah, you've entered us into the paradise. You've given us all that which we desired. And O oh Allah, you've promised us that you will never be displeased with us ever again. O oh Allah, what more could we possibly ever ask for? So Allah will say to you and I, my brothers and sisters, Allah will say, as of this moment, I will remove the veil and you will see me with your very eyes. Imagine seeing Allah. So the Sahaba asked, they said, a prophet of Allah, Will we really see Allah with our eyes? So the Prophet of Allah, he says, he points to the full moon. He says to them, do you see the full moon? They said, yes. He said, you will see Allah like you see the full moon with no difficulties whatsoever. This is the ultimate gift in Jannah, my brothers and sisters. These 50, 60 years that we're going to live here, Wallahi, it's nothing. For those of you who work hard, for those of you who hang on to their deen, know that this is what Allah has promised you. This is what Allah has promised the believers. Imagine seeing Allah with your own eyes. Imagine being in that environment where you, 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 everything your heart ever desires. But my brothers and sisters, wallahi, if that is what you desire, then you have to work for it, man. Like how every one of us, he knows that if he wants to drive a Ferrari in this world, then he has to work hard. And if you want to live in a nice mansion, then you have to work doubly hard. If you're expecting that reward from Allah, know that you have to pay the ultimate price. And this is what it's all about. Sometimes people tell me, you know, I don't have that stamina to move forward. Never forget why you do what you do. When things get tough, remember that I want to see Allah. When things get tough, remember that I want to be of those who live in Jannah for eternity. And this is what drives us, my brothers and sisters. Wallahi, I want to thank you all for allowing me to come. I want to thank the organizers for bringing me here. Wallahi, I've, I've, really, I've really loved Oslo, honestly. I really enjoyed it. I believe you people are beautiful, beautiful people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this city. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every single one of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you all closer to the deen. My brothers and sisters, don't, don't waste these three days. Don't waste your time. Don't, don't, don't become, don't make these things like, uh, uh, you know, events that we attend. Make a move in your life, man. Wallahi, don't waste your life. You know, on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will say to the believer, He will say to him, read Quran like you used to read in dunya. And the last verse that you stop at will be the level of Jannah that you will end up in. So imagine those that memorize the Qur'an. Then imagine you and I who only knew Kul huwa Allahu ahad and Kul a'udhu bi rabbil falak. Wallahi for every letter that you didn't memorize, Wallahi you're going to kick yourself. 
that if I just worked that little bit harder, man, I would have made it. So my brothers, after these three days of, you know, mashallah, talk after talk, what are you going to do? What is your plan? What is your action plan? Are you going to be like everyone else who came, was entertained, went home and no change in his life? Or are you going to be from those people who are going to make promises to Allah? You know, my brothers, the race is on, the competition is on. Sahaba are already there. Where do you want to end up? Do you want to be with Rasulullah in Jannah? Do you want to be in first class? Or do you want to be right at the back next to the toilets, man? You make that choice, inshallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us all from the people of Firdaus al-A'la. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this city and to bless every single one of you and to guide every single one of us and the whole ummah at large. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I ask him to not take our souls until he is pleased with it. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.